what up what up what up way up way up welcome to the channel my name is RJ Barkley and in this video I'll be showing you how to set up Quant Tower the trading platform that is hot on the market right now and it's trending in my opinion it's one of the best trading platforms for traders out there dive into the meat of the matter why you here right let's go this is the Quant Tower website and it can be download it and work on Mac or PC whichever one it works just the same if you are a funded trader like for instance top step or apex whichever one it works just the same if you want to trade your own funds like your personal account and you want to use this platform you can do it as well on, on this platform uh, what is the cheapest route to sign up for these platforms right all right I got you all right here we go in just my opinion, this is not financial advice. I will go through a funded account. You know what I mean? Because you get everything for free. The data service, everything for free. Because every platform you have to pay for data service. This is the top step account. So these are the account um, sizes and prices. Right now they're, they're having a discount right now. So you guys can check it out. For someone who is trying to learn or get into trading, funded accounts in my opinion is the best option all right it comes with everything people paper trading it comes with the emotions so you can also sign up with can sign up with apex as well and i'm telling you it's the same thing these are the platforms i would recommend newbies beginner traders are traders trying to stop losing their own money these are the platforms i recommend you guys but with with apex if you want to sign up you can use this coupon code you know it helps me out and help out this channel as well so you can use that so let's look at the the prices and see how it works you have the 50k you have the 75 i wouldn't recommend this one because of the drawdown threshold you know what i mean because the drawdown threshold it's too small you know and you can blow this account in one go and then your money will be lost you know what i mean you don't want to do that so i would recommend 50k or 100k or 150k to get started for starters and bear in mind this price right now is not the actual price right now like today at this time of this video it's not the actual price because they're having a 90 percent off apex celebration sale right now we, at the time of the video we have five days left and if you missed it they're gonna always have this sale going on at some point in time you just have to check out and look out for it so quant tower here we go so you click download you download it and you have it on your system cool you're going to need an another app along with quant tower okay and the, the another app you need is our trader okay you need to get this one download it on your system as well here it is this is one of our trader pro this is what you need to download as well all right people so in order to log in it doesn't matter the platform you sign up for you're going to get a login information in your email with your credential you're going to use the login into the our trader so you're going to log into our trader just like this you know what I mean? my login information and top step you go, click on this arrow right here and you select what platform you 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 sign up with apex it doesn't matter you click on it you put in your login information and you go in you know what i mean what this does this this app shows your commission and all the trades you made and all that account you know what i mean so all of that balance and everything will be there you will have it there so you can use it quant tower you have it downloaded on your system so we're gonna log in on that platform right now all right i'm already logged on to it already and you you should see this message right here connected status connected to top step all right if it wasn't top step you would look for whatever platform like as i said you can use apex you know what i mean so you look for apex and sign up for it plus if you're gonna sign up with another platform you're gonna to need to click on real not demo real account because you're gonna lose your live account if you're using your personal or a different account so this is what you would use to connect this is how you would connect to it okay I'm using top step because that's what I'm connected to right now 
I have an Apex account too, but it's not connected as yet, which I'm going to do that in the coming weeks. So this is how you connect to it, okay? And you can find that in the top bar up here when you see this comes up, okay? All right, so that's, that goes for connection. Remember, very important, you do this connection and you log into the R Trader Pro, especially the R Trader Pro first. Make sure all of this is on, especially market data. Make sure it's like this. When you're logging in at first, this is what you need. You need to do this, okay, people, for R Trader Pro. Remember, very important, if you want to see your commissions and fees, this is what you need to do, all right? So click on this and bring this up. Make sure you have this up already. All right, let's move on to Quant Tower. We're gonna click on Quant Tower now and we're gonna bring it up and make sure everything is correct. So now we're gonna go over to this Quant Tower icon. Bam, click on it, drop down bar, two bar with all the stuff that is on Quant Tower. That's, this is all the stuff you can do with Quant Tower, okay? But for now, for starters, we are gonna be looking at charts and copy trading. But copy trading, we're going to do this at the end of the video, okay? I'm going to show you how to set this up. But for mainly now, for trading, we're going to click on charts, okay? Bam. All right, here's the chart that comes up, all right? So you adjust it how you want it on the screen, all right? If you want more than one chart, you got to size this up and fix it up so it can fit in your screen, all right? That's how you do it for the charts. So how do you bring up your account for... The, the chart all right for instance whenever you open a new chart it's going to be default to dx feed chart okay so you have to go in and change your account to whichever platform you're using whether it's top step or apex you have to change it because it's going to default to dx feed trader see it's going to default to this all right so this is my top step account that is connected to quant tower so if you look over here you look on account if you click on it you're going to see account euro account usd that's not your account so you want to bring up your account okay so how you do that you go over here this bar right here the search bar click on it you're going to see dx feed at the top what you need to do the drop down button meaning it's open you need to close it bam so when you close it you see top step come up just like that now you will look for your ticker Look for your ticker that you want to trade. I'm trading futures and I like trading NQ. And this is the one you click on, front month for NQ. Not, no, not these down here, front month for NQ. Cause you're not, you're not trading the mini. You know what I mean? Like for me, I like trading NQ. So now if you look over here, over your accounts over here, you see that it, it has changed with all accounts you have signed up with. Ooh, top step right here. So if you, if you want, uh, want to have multiple charts, if you want to have multiple charts, you have to rinse and repeat and do the same thing again. Click on charts, bam. You have to do the same thing again to change it. Click, go up to the top of it, close DX feed, go down to the futures you want to trade, whether it's NQ or ES, click on it, bring it up, bam it loads okay close this again rings and repeat doing the same thing bam there you go all right so you have to adjust these charts they all can fit you have to so i'm gonna adjust it right now so it can fit on the screen so you guys can see what's up i'm making sure you guys are seeing everything right now so i have two charts on the, the screen right now two charts next important chart you want to bring up you want to bring up your position charts so you want to know when you're in trade so you can either click on the icon over here or you can click this quick button right here you can click this quick button and you bring up whatever you want okay bam you click on it this is your position bar okay so whenever you're in a trade and you need to see it which is connected to the r trader pro you're going to see whether you're winning or you're losing at the same time while you're in a trade this is the bar this is the box you need to click on you need to open that separately okay so when you do all that you know you have a really good functioning chart all right remember that remember you have a good functioning chart a next point to note is that say for instance you want to add you like to use your dom you like to see your dom trade all right if you look up here you see that it has dx feed so yes if you're asking to yourself if i if you should yes you should change this just like how you would trade change the normal chart close this dx feed go down 
to NQ, trick the front man for NQ, and voila. There you go. This is the NQ on the darm. All right? Very important. It's real easy, but if you miss these steps, it's going to give you a problem. And you don't want problems. So that's why you click on this video. So that's what we're doing. We're making sure you got everything for this video. All right? I, I don't use darm, so... I'm gonna click it up, but I'm just showing you, for example, whenever you click on a new chart, you have to make sure everything is connected to your account. Make sure everything is connected to your account, okay? On each chart, very important, all right? This is the, the toolbar for the chart itself. For each chart, each chart have their own toolbar. You know what I mean? So you have flatten, close position, reverse, break even, cancel all others, right there. Bid and ask and mark it. You, you should know by now what all these means. All right, stop order. Very important, I'm making sure I show you this. Stop order. So go like this, we set the, how far down you wanna take your lose, your loses or how far you're willing to lose, stop loss, all right? So you take profit now. Your TP, take profit, you set it at how many ticks, you're willing to take profit at bam so whenever you make a trade whether bid a uh, bid or ask it doesn't matter which one when which part on the chart you enter you're going to have a, a stop loss and a take profit every time you make a trade on this chart over here on this chart you have to do the same thing again but remember i told you guys that at the end of the video i will show you how you can trade different accounts over here I got you. I'm going to show you right now. Let's go. So, how do you trade different accounts? We're going to click on copy trading. This is set up for my account already. So, I'm going to add some more to it. So, for instance, I I have this chart right here, this chart right here, this chart, at like three charts. I'm going to close these. Yes. I'm going to close these and then redo it so you guys can see. All right. You click on the copy trading. It's in beta mode, but it works good. All right. So we're going to click on the plus sign right here on the copy trading. Click on it. This come up. You can rename it, whatever you want. And you see everything is in default to DX feed. You need to change that. All right. So my account for top step is already connected to Quantower. I repeat, it's already connected. So I it, it's in the drop down bar. So click on it and you see all of the accounts come up. Okay. So you change the account that you first want to monitor. Like, so for instance, you want to make sure this is the account that I use mainly to control everything. So this is the account you're going to trade from. Meaning your first trade is going to be from this account. That's the one you want to put on first. That's, that's what I would suggest. And the child connection, you go like this and you select the account. You select the account and save it. Bam. All right. You add another account. So for instance, you have account with Apex. Here's the, here's the kicker. You will do the same thing right here still, but in order for Quantower to allow you to do it, in order for Quantower to allow you to do it, you need, you need advanced features on Quantower website. I'm going to show you how you get that and download it and set it up. So you go back on the website, click on pricing, this landing page right here, you scroll down, buy pro features apart. You see, they have individual functionings you can buy, features you can buy separately, and these prices are per month. So this is the one you want, advanced features. If you don't have advanced features, you can't trade within different platforms, meaning Apex, Top Step, or Mega Trader, or whatever traders. If you want to trade multiple accounts, this is what you need, all right? Advanced features, that's how you do it. So once you buy this and pay the $25 per month, you can trade all three platforms from one trading platform at the same time, okay? How do you do that again? Each chart, you would select the account you want to connect to it, just like this, bam, all right? Then you go over to Copy Trader, Copy Trader, then you create it just like this, bam, change it. You see that a while ago, it shows it, it, it's in default mode. You wanna change that, all right? You wanna change this to um, Top Step or whichever platform, you're gonna see all the platforms that is connected to one tower, all right? So you need to change that, bam. And there's the accounts again, bam. So you set it up just like that and you save it. Boom. 
Okay, remember, very important, if you want to trade different platforms at the same time in one trading chart, on one trading chart, one screen, so you don't have to close in and out, in and out, so you, you don't have to close this APS account to go to top step, and this, you can trade from one platform. That's why this top is so awesome. All right, people, if you find this video was helpful, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and if you like videos like this i'm guessing you will like this one when i'm trading live so watch this